you name it for technology, we've applied it. You have to pick the right technology for the right job. That's really what it boils down to. If it needs a robot, you put a robot on it. If it needs a cam-driven system so that it doesn't go out of sync, you use a cam-driven system. It's all in what the application is. We spent 38 years and have a lot of experience behind us uh, to pick the right technology for the right job. I've always based my business on being responsible for everything. We build, we design, we do all our own controls, fabricate. We do cam-driven machinery, we do pneumatics, we've done servos, we do robotic, electrical, uh, electrical panel building, we, wiring, uh, we do paint, welding. What we specialize in is industrial automation. And we solve problems. Most of the machinery uh, we build, we hear from the customer um, after we deliver it, and the second week we hear them maybe once more. And then the third week, how come you're not calling us? There's no reason to call you. We're happy with the machine. We have a full CNC machining centers. We have uh, welding stations. We have CNC lathes, CNC millers. We have pretty much everything that we need to build everything in-house. Uh, by doing that, we have full control of the facility and our product. And uh, that's the way we like to keep it because you can keep really tight control over the whole operation to make sure that the end uh, result is exactly what we want. Four things we concentrate on are speed, safety, productivity, and cost savings. When we, when we build a one-off, we build it out of very rugged components. Uh, it's very, very robust. You have a few wear parts, like every other piece of equipment, usually small minor parts, and usually they, we overbuild them so much that they just run and run and run and run and run. Okay, we did a two-part assembly machine. We had a medical company come to us and they wanted to uh, increase their production rates, existing machines that were only doing one-ups, and uh, we built a machine that does four at a time. So you got 240 parts per minute coming off of this machine. We were able to quadruple the production with this machine. Our equipment is not complex. If you built a piece of complex equipment that is very finicky, then you didn't build it right. When you design a piece of equipment, you have to take into consideration their maintenance and their staff that support the unit. You know, you have to build something that's simple, solid, and durable. So they can take a sub-assembly off, send it back to us for uh, some sort of maintenance or repair, drop it right back into place. You don't have to be an engineer to work with us. Um, you, as long as you can explain your issues and your problems, we can take it from there and we'll develop the equipment. We'll talk to you in plain language. And if you are an engineer, all the better. We can build a machine for you that will assemble the packaging at a faster rate than anybody else can. But it all starts with taking the first step. And the first step is to give us a call because the consultations are free. We're here to build you the best automation machine we can. We want to solve your problem.